Hi, my name is Corianne Etienne, and today I'm going to be showing you which paints to use when painting salt dough ornaments. Now, salt dough is a tradition that began in my family many generations ago, and every Christmas we sit around the kitchen table making salt dough ornaments. The beauty of salt dough ornaments is if you use the right paint, they can last a lifetime. Here's an example of one that my mother made nearly 40 years ago. Now when painting salt dough ornaments, there's two ways to do it. One is using a sculpture method, like my mother's antique one used, and the other is using the simple cookie cutter. Now we use both in our home, but the children simply love using the cookie cutter process. And this is what you get with an unfinished piece of salt dough. Using the star cookie cutter, we've air dried these so that they're nice and dry, and just a little bit brittle, so certainly not something you'd want to throw in the ground. Using an acrylic paint, as opposed to any of the other paints, ensures that it is soaked right into the salt and seals beautifully for generations to come. Now the beauty of acrylic paint is it is a little bit like a plastic, nothing like it really, but certainly acts the same way. It has a nice hard coating. Use a foam brush to cover your ornament with the acrylic paint. I like to always paint my salt dough with a little bit of white or cream to begin with. It ensures that the other colors that I use have a nice vibrant effect. Be generous with the paint. Don't be worried about using too much as with a foam brush you can always brush it off. Now that I've got a cream base, I'm using a little bit of this fantastic metallic green paint. I love the shimmery of effect of it and because I'm not a big fan of glitter, having a metallic finish in a paint means that I can have all the sparkle without all the glitter. Now anyone who knows me knows that I'm not terribly crafty, but I do love sitting around a table with lovely Christmas food and drink and my friends and family decorating festive salt dough ornaments. So there's no right or wrong. You can make them as pretty or as garish or as ornate that you want, but just make sure you use an acrylic paint. So here's a finished star, a nice green Christmas star. And here are some I did earlier. I've, once the paint dries, what you want to do is take a clear coat varnish and just spray them so that they have a nice covered edge and then fasten a ribbon and dare I show you the Christmas ornament I made this year using all of my acrylic paints and my salt door ornaments from my kitchen. This is Corianne Etienne wishing you a festive holiday season spent in your kitchen.